Hey guys, it's Isabella. So for today's video, I filmed this makeup look for you all. So this makeup look is a part of my color series. Um, it wasn't going to be, but I've been really wanting to do this makeup look forever. Like as soon as I got the pigment, um, I really wanted to film it, but I just never got around to doing it. And now that we're doing the color series, I thought I would quickly add it in between the yellow and the lighter green. Um, so this is just like a darker green khaki spooky eye. So if you guys want to see how to achieve this makeup look, then just keep on watching. So for today's video, I'm going to be um, doing my khaki makeup look. So I have done my yellow makeup look and usually I'd go straight into green, but I thought I would add khaki in between the yellow and the green just because it's like a darker green. So yeah, and I've also really wanted to film this makeup look for ages. So um, yeah, I'm going to include it in my color series because khaki is another color. Obviously it's not like the color of a rainbow, but you know, we're just going to add it in there. I'm adding um another color as well to my list because to make it look I've always wanted to do so yeah that's what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna start off with my eyebrows I'm gonna use the Savannah Rose Cosmetics Brow Butters and this is in medium brown is it focusing in medium brown um and I'm gonna use my Morphe E29, except my spoolie's like broken off, but yeah, oh well. Um, also, excuse my brows, obviously in quite oh, bad start. Um, obviously in quarantine, we are not, well, I'm not getting them done. My brows are just getting worse and worse in each video, but yeah, nothing I can do about that. And if you can't hear, it's literally pouring outside. Like it was sunny like an hour ago and now it's pouring rain. Yeah, I'm going to leave that for now just because um, I need to tidy up the top part, but the bottom part is fine. Um, so for concealer, I'm going to use the... Tarte Shape Tape and this is in Light Sand. So I'm just going to apply this to my eyelids and I'm just going to carve them out and also prime. As you can see that just sharpens up the underneath area. Um, I'll do the same to the top but I I'm a person that does it with foundation because under the eyes is a lot more lighter but I want the top to blend into my forehead if that makes sense I haven't used Tarte Shape Tape in ages but it's dried down um, so for today's palette, I'm going to be using the Be Perfect um, palette and it's called the Clientele palette and it's in collaboration with Makeup by Jar. So the main shades I'm going to be focusing on is this khaki shade here and the green to blend it out and some, bl um, some browns and blacks probably. Um, so the first shade, I'm going to go straight in with... Um, I'm going to go straight in with... Warrior, which is the khaki shade. I'm gonna get another brush and blend that out. I'm gonna mix a bit of um, Kiwi Heart, which is the green shade in the palette. It's gonna look really messy at the start, especially with this shade because um, I'm gonna do because it is such a weird shade at the start. But I want it blown out, so I want it blown out here, and I want it blown out um, there. But I'll blow that out um, once I've done the rest of my makeup as well.
So now I'm going to take um, Too Much from the palette, which I'm obsessed with this shade. I think it's one of the best shades in the palette. Um, I'm going to take Obsessed. I mean, I don't know why I call that Obsessed. I'm going to take Too Much um, and I'm going to apply that on the outer part of my lid and crease area. I'm using a Morphe M456 brush. So I'm going to add black now, and in the palette it's just called Just Black. This is a good black in the palette. I think my favourite black in the palette um, is the Morphe and James Charles one. I just use a little bit of the black from the James Charles palette because as I said, um, it's a really good black and it's really pigmented um, because that brown was so pigmented in the other palette I needed like a really pigmented black just to go over it so I went in with that and I've decided I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this like shimmery dark green shade just over the lid as a base for the glitter I'm about to apply um, so yeah I'm just gonna messily apply this onto my lid So, the glitter I'm going to be using is the Be Perfect and Make by Jar Glitter, and this is in Sire the Cat, which is a green khaki shade. It's really, really sparkly, so I'm really excited to use this. I'm going to apply some glitter glue down first, which is the Makeup Revolution glue. It's not focusing. Um, and then I'm going to apply that glitter on. I'm going to take the NYX liquid liner um, and I'm going to do a lot of eyeliner. I might do it more thick on the outside and then I'm going to blend the outside line into the black eyeshadow. And that is the eyeshadow done on the top part of the eyes. It's a really, really easy makeup look. Um, it was like four shadows, which is really good. Um, so now I'm going to apply some mascara. For lashes, I'm going to be using the Bella Beauty Lashes in Ace. Um, I used these, I think, maybe in my... No, not in my last video. The orange makeup look, I'm pretty sure. Um, I just love how they look. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm just going to apply some duo lash glue. I'm waiting for them to dry. I'm going to prime my face. I'm using the Fasali Unicorn Essence Drops. To use the applicator, the Bella Beauty applicator. The lashes are giving off the perfect amount of dramaticness, but still super fluffy as well. Those are the lashes here, by the way. You can see the fluffiness, I think. <laughs> Let that dry. I'm gonna start on the face. So, in the Huda Beauty foundation, this is um, 
in the shade Baklava. It's the Faux Filter High Coverage Cream Foundation. For concealer, I'm going to add the Tarte Shape Tape in light sand. My under eyes are looking extremely white for now, um, and I'm going to use my Makeup Revolution Foundation Stick in F13 just to cream contour myself. Just realised I've got a pimple on that area, so it might make my powder contour look a bit messy. So now I'm going to cream contour. I'm using the Laura Mercier translucent powder. I don't really have much of this, so. So my camera just cut out, but I just applied the black underneath my eyes. I'm going to go back into the clientele palette and I'm going to take um, Warrior, which is the khaki shade, and smudge that black out. So I'm going to take the NYX Matte Bronzer um, in Deep Tan. I don't know if you can actually get this still, but if you can, pick it up because it's amazing. Um, and I'm using the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill JH05. This is a really pigmented... I, call, I think it's more of a contour than a bronzer. But yeah, you can choose. Um, and then I'm going to take the Hula um, bronzer, and this is in the caramel shade, just as like a blush almost. So I'm just giving more warmth to my face, but I'm adding it on the cheekbones. And then on top of that, I'm going to take the Hourglass bronzer for some more bronziness. And this is just for like some, um, what's it called? Shimmer as well. I'm going to take some Laura Mercier powder and just cut my cheeks with the powder, obviously. Just to like clean it up. For highlighter, I'm going to take the... Nicole, well, the Anastasia Beverly Hills and Nicole Giero Glow Kit. Um, and I'm going to take my favourite, um, Glow Getter, and I might just use one for three, actually. Um... Um, no, I'll go with my favourite. So I'm going to take the Morphe Lip Liner in Spiffy. This is still my favourite lip liner. I like the favorite, my favourite colour and everything. Um... I'm going to do a gloss for this um, lip as well. Um, but just to like fill that in, I'm just using MAC Velvet Teddy. For gloss, I'm going to see how the Astralis Girl Boss Lip Gloss in My Boo looks like.
Then on top, I'm going to take a little bit of the Makeup Revolution Lip Topper in Luxurious. Just like the tiniest bit on the centre. I just want to see how it looks. You know what? I might apply that everywhere because it looks really pretty. Last step is to spray the face. So I'm taking the Makeup Revolution Glow. Um, so this is the Prime Set Glow Illuminating Face and Body Spray and it's in Internal Gold. So this was the completed makeup look. If you guys like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel. If you guys like this makeup look and are ready to see my other green makeup look in the colour series then stay tuned and if you haven't seen any of my other colour series so the red, the orange and the yellow this video will be added to the playlist so be sure to check it out um, and yeah thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video bye